Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. In this video, we are going to solve ASET September 2019 question paper and statistics part. So in previous videos, you have seen us solving uh, questions from statistics and other part of the question paper. So now we are going to continue with the statistics portion. So here question number 28 says coefficient of variation of two distributions are 0.4 and 0.5. So first of all, we need to know what is this coefficient of variation of a distribution. So basically coefficient of variation is nothing but the ratio of variance, sorry not the variance but the standard deviation, the standard deviation with mean. So this is basically coefficient of variation of a distribution that is ratio of its standard deviation and mean. So from here we can say that the standard deviation okay so we are talking about two distributions so we will first of all consider two distributions as A and B. So we can say that coefficient of variation of A that is 0.4 as it is given in the question over here is sigma A that is the standard deviation divided by mu A that is the mean which is equal to 0.4 as well as for b we can say sigma b that is the standard deviation of b with mu b which is mean of b is 0.5 now from this you can further read in the question is their means are 25 and 20 respectively so we have also been given the values of their mean which is mu a and mu b now difference difference of their standard deviations is so what we need to find is difference of their standard deviations which are sigma a and sigma b so we need to find the difference of sigma a and sigma b so we can easily find this just by multiplying here sigma a will be equal to 0.4 mu a and our sigma b will be equal to 0.5 mu b and now we know the values of mu a and mu b which will be 0.4 into 25 and this will be 10 and sigma b which is equal to 0.5 into 20 which is also equal to 10 so you can see that the difference between mu a and mu b which is mu a minus mu b or mu b minus mu a is 10 minus 10 which is equal to 0 so the difference between these two distributions uh, their difference between their standard deviations will be 0 so you can see in option uh, option number c is the correct answer which says 0 now moving on to the next question which is question number 29 so question 29 says let x be a discrete random variable that takes values 1, 2 and 3 with probability 0 0.5, 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 respectively. So here we have a random variable x whose possible values are 1, 2 and 3 and the probabilities of occurrence of 1, 2 and 3 are 0 0.5, 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 respectively with sums up to 1. Now the expected value of mod x minus 2 is. So what we need to find over here is expected value of mod x minus 2. So this is what we need to find from here. So first of all let us check what are the possible values this x minus 2 can hold. So from these three values 1, 2 and 3 we can put these values in this equation which is x minus 2 and we can find what are the values x minus 2 can hold. So here we have 1, here we have 2 and here we have 3. So let's check what are the possible options these can hold. So in first case 1 as you can see over here is mod 1 minus 2. So this will give us mod minus 1 and since it is mod we will only consider the value and not the sign which will be equal to 1. In second case we have 2. So let us check what 2 will give us here. So mod 2 minus 2 which is equal to mod of 0 which is obviously equal to 0 and in case of 3 we know 3 minus 2 in mod which will give us 1 which is equal to 1. So as you can see the possible values of x minus 2 in mod is 1, 0 and 1. So from here we can say that the only possible values of x minus 2 in mod so possible values of mod x minus 2 2 are 0 and 1 and what are the prob probabilities of these values occurring so occurrence of 0 as you can see it only occurs when we replace x by 2 and replacing x by 2 is a probability which is 0 0.3 that 
occurrence of uh, 2 in place of x is 0 0.3 and this 2 minus 2 will give us 0 so in case of 0 the probability is 0 0.3 that is occurrence of 2 and in place of 1 you can see either if we place 1 in place of x or we place 3 in place of x we will get our expected uh, the value of uh, mod x minus 2 to be 1 so in place of 1 we can see that 1 occurrence is 0 0.5 percent probability is 0 0.5 and the occurrence of 3 is 0 0.2 so the total probability of occurrence of 1 is 0 0.7 so in this case you can see we need to find the expected value of x minus 2 so in this case x minus 2 expected value will be 0 0.7 and in options you can see that option number a is our correct answer which is 0 0.7 so option a will be the right answer to this question now moving on to the next question which is question number 30 so question 30 says let x be a continuous random variable with pdf fx is equal to cx square for x belongs to 0 to 1 and 0 otherwise so here we have a function of random variable x where the value of x can be cx square in case of x belongs to 0 to 1 which is less than or equal to 1 and 0 otherwise so we will consider this to be our function now for some positive constant c okay so here we have a c as a positive constant now the value of probability x greater than x less than equal to 2 by 3 given that x greater than 1 by 3 is so here we need to find the value of probability x less than 2 by 3 given x greater than 1 by 3 so this is nothing but conditional probability which can also be written as probability x less than equal to 2 by 3 comma x greater than 1 by 3 divided by probability x greater than 1 by 3 so what we can see in the numerator is the value of x lies between 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 so the value of x is also greater than 1 by 3 but it is less than 2 by 3 so for simplicity we can write over here it as probability x greater than okay so we can write this as a range where x value it is less than equal to 2 by 3 but it is greater than 1 by 3 and in denominator we simply have probability x greater than 1 by 3 so we have a continuous function as you can see a continuous random function what we will do is integrate the function to get the value of the probability so let us integrate here we have the integration over here limits will be from 1 to 1 by 3 to 2 by 3 so 1 by 3 to 2 by 3 and the function as we have been given in the question is 3x to the power square then we have dx whole divided by in numerator we have probability x is greater than 1 by 3 so what we can see is uh, the lower limit will be 1 by 3 but what will be the upper limit here we have the function cx square dx but in this case what will be the upper limit this is the main question so again we can go in the question given and check over here as you can see here the range of x is less than equal to 1 so this range plays a very vital role in the question where you can see the value of x cannot be greater than 1 so our range over here that is the upper limit of this integration will be 1 because the value of x cannot be greater than 1 so the upper limit will be 1 now integrating this we can take c a constant which is outside and from okay so let us integrate this and after integration x square we get x cube by 3 and the limits are from 1 by 3 to 2 by 3 in denominator again we have c outside then we have x cube by 3 and this time the limits are from 1 by 3 till 1 so solving this we can see that s c by 3 in this bracket we can write by 4 by 9 that is 2 by 3 whole cube okay so this will be whole cube not square so here we will have 8 by this is 3 cube which is 27 minus 1 cube divided by 3 cube again 27 whole divided by again c by 3 this time we have 1 cube minus 1 by 27 so as you can see in numerator and denominator we can eliminate c by 3 and c by 3 so here we will have 7 divided by 27 whole divided by 27 minus 1 is 26 divided by 27 so 27 gets cancelled and we are left with 7 by 26 so our answer will be 7 by 26 so let us check the options 
so in options you can see option number c which is 7 by 26 so option c is the correct answer to this question so i will like to end this video here you will find more solutions to a set september 2019 question paper in our further video